So we're going to be over here. Okay. So we're in the inverted region. Mm -hmm. That's the key. We're in the inverted region. That means that whichever way the object is pointing, the image will be pointing the opposite direction. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Whichever way the object is pointing, the image will be pointing the opposite direction. It will be inverted. So, okay. So, then we so should we orient the doll like this or like this? We want it to be the bottom way. The upside down one. Because if we orient the object like this, we know that we will be inverting that because we're in this region. And then the doll will look the way we want it to look. I think one of the tricky things here is that um, the, the, the wording starts to get confusing because we're using kind of the, the word inverted in two different ways, right? The inverted here just means that whichever way the object looks, the, object, the, uh, the uh, image looks different from it over here. So which means here, um, if we want this to be right side up, we want this to be upside down. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So when we're looking at the table, and if I see like inverted real magnified, that's describing the image, right? That is describing the relationship between the image and the object. That's right. Okay. So uh, now, so so one thing to notice is inverted does not mean upside down right. in a yeah. sense, right? This is a inverted image, even it though the doll is right side up. Yeah, if you take an upside down object mm -hmm. and you invert it, you get a right side up image. So, it, uh, so we, sh we besides the words inverted and upright, we might also maybe these are not very good terms. Uh, so um, maybe we should say opposite orientation and same orientation. Those would be clearer terms. Inverted means that the image has the opposite orientation um, to the object, and upright means that the uh, image has the same orientation as the object. Whether it's upside down, or, uh, whether it's up, uh, upside down or uh, right side up, just depends on how you're holding the object over here. So the terminology can be confusing. The safest thing is to draw pictures, like I did here. So we actually have to draw, we actually draw the doll. It helps to, to, to iron things out over here. Um, and yet, when we say magnified, what we mean is that the image is bigger than the object. All of these words are comparing uh, the image to the object. This is a image size that's bigger than an object size. And this is an image orientation that's the opposite of the object orientation. Okay. So again, last time we did a bunch of kind of simple lens mirror questions. So hopefully today we'll try to do some more exam-like questions. So last time we just used the words inverted and upright without really talking about what the practical implications are. So here's kind of the practical implications of this for an actual object and why so you might care about that. The object should be magnified, or is that not supposed to be bigger than the image? Oh. Um, so, yeah, we shouldn't say the object is magnified. You're saying that the image here is shrunk, right? That image. Yeah, but that, that's just a coincidence. I happen to okay. draw them smaller. I really should have drawn them the same size because I was trying to continue doing right. the same okay. thing. Yeah. Still... yeah, so I just ran out of space yeah. here. I was focusing on the orientation. Okay. Okay, okay. so uh, again, drawing these types of pictures here can help us with these problems. line here is just what we call the principal axis or the central axis. It's just a reference line that goes to the center of the uh, lens. All right, so let's say again that we want our image to be below the axis. Okay. We want the image to be below the axis, so we want an image that is still real, still the same size as the object, um, and we still want the doll to be right side up. We still want the doll to be oriented like this draw it the way the object should look. How should, uh, how, what would the picture of the object look like on the left hand side in order to get an image that matches that? So, we're still working with converging lens. Yeah, everything is the same, right? Okay. So, an 
image that looks like this. here. Now, first of all, we know what's going to be the relationship between our object distance and our image distance. Um, they will be the same. Because we want the sizes to be the same. We know that when the image size is the same as the object, the image distance should be the same. So I try to draw my picture yeah. here so this is about the same length right. over here. Okay. Um, and uh, now... Um, We want the doll to be uh, right side up. Mm -hmm. So should the image be right side up or upside down? Upside down. Upside down, because we're going to be inverting, like we saw over here. So the question is, should it look like, should it look like this or like this? These are the two possible ways we could put the object. We could put the object here, or we could put the object here. And I think you figured out the right one. What you draw was this one. Because if you start with this and you invert it, you would get this. If we started with this and we inverted it, we'd get an image up here. Right? right? right. That's, could, that's another question that could have asked. If I'd asked you to put the image up here, then this would be the right way so to go. So when we're talking about something being inverted, it can also mean position based on the axis also. And the relation to where it is on the axis. Yeah, when we say inverted, what that really means is it has a different orientation to the principal axis. The word inverted really means that the orientation of the image to the principal axis is the opposite of the orientation to the object. So it really means that it's kind of been reflected around that axis, that principal axis. All right, so this would not work because that would give us an image up here. So this was the answer to my question. If we take this, we already knew that we wanted it to be upside down, and now we know that we want the head to be on the axis here. That would give us this image. Okay, uh, so that would give us this here. Okay. All right. All right. So I think that's enough uh, for this guy. But again, this is uh, definitely something you want to go uh, save and go through again when the exam is coming up. Uh, again, this is more typical of the exam type questions that you're going to see. You know,